uh, SDOCS focuses on digitizing, automating uh, trade and paper heavy processes in particular. Mm -hmm. Ultimately reducing risk um, and facilitating lower cost financing and increasing financial inclusion. I think regulation has been creeping up year on year for the last five years. We have KYC heavy requirements and we have know your client's client. So digitization sort of helps start to automate some of those processes. Um, we're hearing more and more about blockchain and how that fits in. And, and all of these new technologies help again push for digitization. Uh, they're, they're enabling technologies um, to benefit visibility and, and in process improvements once you've digitized uh, the original part of the process. So whether it's challenges, I think it's, I look at it more as opportunities. So with the banks, we've been working for a long time on, on electronic documents being presented under a, a, an EUCP letter of credit or under a dot collection. But as per paper, they'd have to take that information, type it into their back office systems, run a manual KYC check. With uh, connectivity to MISIS, we can automate that process, have an API between us and the banks, the data will automatically flow through, the KYC check can be run on a transactional level. So it's the, the first step of really starting to automate these processes in particular for the banks. The biggest problem uh, with paperless trade is the huge chicken and egg issue. I need exporters who want to be paperless, but they need their carriers to be paperless, they need their banks to be paperless. And the banks don't want to sign up until they have enough of their customers who are paperless. So overcoming that chicken and egg issue is for sure for us the biggest issue. We've been working, we've been operational since January 2010, and we will hit critical mass in our very first industry only by the end of this year. It's taken a lot of time, a lot of uh, dedicated customers who wanted to drive paperless, who recognized that, that paperless is a project, it's not, um, it's not a solution that I can get out of the box. I need to start on a project and it will be a multi-year project. And in the first instance you need to digitize and once you've digitized you can start to automate. And we're starting to see more and more of that happening with our customers. They've digitized one part of the process maybe 100% and another part of the process maybe 10%. So how do I take that second part and, and digitize it to 50% to 90%? So if you have the right customers who recognize that the end goal is hugely beneficial to, to themselves and their supply chain partners, the compliance benefits, the visibility benefits, the operational benefits, and of course, obviously, the financial benefits, and you have that bigger buy-in, uh, then eventually you'll get people moving in the same direction. But it takes a long time. We tend to be driven by our customers. So what has historically happened is a customer will come to us and say, listen, uh, I want to go into warehouse warrants. And typically we'll work on a project with one or two companies simultaneously, identify what the scope of the project will be, find the participants, uh, develop a solution in UAT, test it out, and once successful, roll it out on a global level. Uh, so it's, it's like any IT project. We tend to try and avoid POCs that are simply that, POCs that prove a, a, a concept. We really want to be developing solutions that can be operational and will be rolled out operationally. But ultimately, we tend to find that these things take anything from two months to maybe a year. But, but not too long. Typically, you have to reduce the amount of um, resources for your customer and try and make all these projects manageable because if it becomes too big, it's destined to fail.